It's the word on the street from in these tweets. So we are the people of North Carolina and we are asking, who's pulling for us? Yeah! Who's pulling for us? We're out here today to ask a simple question, who's pulling for us? Um, at the end of the day, uh, the ratepayers and citizens of North Carolina feel that those who are supposed to serve them, uh, the General Assembly, our governor, the NCUC, uh, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, institutions that are supposed to serve and pull for us are actually pulling at the end of the day for Duke Energy. So what we have um, last night is a bill um, that is not a bill for the people, it's a bill for Duke Energy. A bill that allows uh, Duke um, at the beginning of the, the coming year to begin asking for a rate hike um, to cause us to pay for this mess that they created. Uh, not a company that just had a record 80% uh, increase in their profit, um, but regular uh, rate payers and working class members of our community. Coal ash is a serious issue for everyone who breathes the air and drinks the water in North Carolina. The bill does not do enough to protect North Carolinians from groundwater pollution, such as mercury, arsenic, and lead, nor does it protect rate payers from putting the bill for Duke Energy's mess. Another aspect of this bill that we are protesting is the fact that only um, four sites are required to be cleaned up. Um, these are the only sites that are seen as high priority. The rest of the sites can essentially be capped in place. Um, and what that means is that the pollution remains there and can seep into our groundwater. Uh, so we're calling for uh, lined landfills away from population centers to make sure that the coal ash is safely disposed of and that the, it does not harm um, our, the people in our communities nor our environment. Unfortunately, the legislator has sided once again with the utility and monopoly and not the people of North Carolina. And that's the word on the street from Mectex in these streets.